I got a new plushie! Hi and welcome to Friday Talks, a weekly show where we get to talk about anything that comes to mind. As always, I hope you guys have had a nice week and a nice weekend. Mine was pretty nice. I just came back from vacations. I was, it was short, it was just from Sunday to Wednesday, but it was really nice to rest. The first two days I was at home, it was a Sunday and Monday, and I essentially just rested. I, I, I played a few games, I played Among Us, that's when I recorded it. The video's already up, and if you haven't watched it yet, please don't do it, because it was really, really fun. And it's funny because at first, like the whole Among Us thing was like just becoming a trend. I don't usually really like to like just do trends or anything, because that doesn't really feel general. Genuine. So I wasn't planning on actually playing Among Us, but then like one day I woke up <laughs> And I looked at my phone. I looked through I was looking through reddit and this guy was streaming Among Us on On reddit. I don't actually remember his name, but I followed him on a twitch I will leave a link to his twitch channel in the description down below. So I, I started watching I was just like, okay Let's let's just see what this is all about Like I knew the premise with the whole imposter thing, but I didn't exactly like know how the gameplay was So then I started watching it and I know just I just spend an entire hour or two just watching the stream because it was it was actually really entertaining and the game seemed to be really fun he was playing with randoms too and one thing that kind of made me a little bit I don't want to say a verse but I'm gonna say a verse to these games is because when trouble in terrorist town was a thing on Gmod when that was popular I, I tried playing it a couple of times it was never fun it was always very boring like it was nothing like you used to see in YouTube videos, for instance, but that's because you were playing with randoms and everything. And so it's just like, you don't really have that whole interaction sort of thing. And a lot of times people aren't just serious about it. And so I got like a little bit burnt. I never really paid much attention to those types of games anymore. I played Murder in VR chat with a few friends a couple of times and it was kind of fun, but it didn't really get that appeal. But uh, yeah, with Among Us, I don't know. I don't know what about it, just like, it was really a blast. I also had a lot of friends play it. And so I had like a big group that was like up for it, up for playing it and even recording a video. They actually encouraged me, which I really appreciate. And they, they wanted to be in a video. They wanted to make a video of it. And I was like, okay, well, let's do it. I actually had a lot of fun watching this guy play it. They taught me how to play the game. They gave me like the few basics and uh, we played a few rounds. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed playing Among Us with them. And so I was like super hyped about it. I was like super like pumped to go ahead and record. So on, on Monday, we went ahead and recorded a video. Uh, I made a, a few friends because of it, because um, uh, a friend of mine, Mamoru, if you watch the video, you know who Mamoru is, uh, he invited three friends of his that I didn't know to, to join the video and play with us. And they were really nice people. So it was pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm planning to make a whole lot more of Among Us videos because, you know, there's a whole lot more maps to explore. And I also got a little bit more experience now with the game, with being like um, an imposter and, and everything. So I feel like it's going to be a really good experience going forward and that the next Among Us videos will be a lot better. So next thing was on Tuesday, I went to have a sleepover at a friend's house and it was really fun. I hadn't seen him in quite a while, so it was, re was really good see him again. I got there around dinner time, so we ate some pizza together, and then we played some video games. We played Phasmophobia, which is like a new game where you go ghost hunting, and it can be played in VR and desktop mode. So we were playing in VR. It was so much fun. I actually had another friend from back in high school tell me about the game a couple of days ago, and I tried it for the first time at my other friend's house. We coincidentally also had it. And man, it was such a blast. Like that game is so cool. The whole thing with being with a crew of people and grabbing this equipment and then like trying to figure out where the ghost is and then doing several things and trying to find the evidence so very interesting we got a, we got up to level 10 or something i think we unlocked the asylum but we still haven't done the asylum and i'm really really looking forward for that because like it's a massive building that's supposed to be super creepy and and super difficult too like they recommend a crew of four people which is a max and that's probably an like intermediate difficulty if not harder i'm really really excited for for doing that i still haven't done it yeah i've got a video coming up it's gonna be uploaded i'm gonna be uploading a phasmophobia video on the channel as well because that game man it's, it's it's really a blast and i really want to share the experience with all of you so that was a really cool thing we did at this place we also played some pavlov and just listened to some music in general and you know just chill it was pretty cool and the next day on wednesday i went to to my friend's tcg store and we went to play some more digimon <laughs> really i'm really enjoying i'm really having a lot of fun playing digimon we we also played uh, some playstation 4 we we watched it was funny because it was the same friends that participated 
and the uh, Among, Among Us video or some of them were there at least. And so we did like a watch party of the video because the video was uploaded on that same day. And it was really cool to just see like everyone that was in there and in the game, just like watching it together and like laughing at the video and everything. It was really cool, it was a really cool experience. And it was, it was really cool. Like while we have, while we, while we were while we, <laughs> fuck's sake. While we were having lunch, we had this really cool conversation among all of us. And we were talking about like, you know, the good old times of gaming, um, on the early 2000s, you know, during the PlayStation 1 era. We were talking about like the Bibles of games, like those, those thick ass magazines with walkthroughs before it was like even a thing on the internet. How the Easter eggs and, t and secrets and all this stuff and how, how, how games, the cases came with like actual manuals and the manuals were like really colorful and very creative and dynamic and how, how the boxes, the, um, some of the cases were like really big cases with a bunch of stuff inside and a bunch of hard books and stuff. Yeah, you know, like, because nowadays it's, it's very much not like that. Like you buy a PlayStation game, you open it, there's like just a CD. You don't get a manual or anything. You just get like maybe a little piece of paper with a code for like extra content or just promoting some third party software or some shit like that. And and now everything that's like oh, a very cool box or stuff like that, like it, now it's just collector's editions. So it's like very different from what it used to be back then. So we were just talking about that and talking about like how nostalgic that felt and uh, our talking about how our experiences and everything during those times. We talked about a bunch of games like Spyro and Crash and Medieval and Croc, Abe's, the Odd World series. We talked about Final Fantasy and Age of Mythology, Age of Empires, uh, Tomb Raider, and just a bunch of games, Sound Hill, I don't man, it was just so many games. And it, you know, just discussing all these things that we remember from back then. Uh, a friend of mine, he has three Bibles of like, of the PlayStation 1 era, three, three video game Bibles, uh, he called them, that he wants to bring to the store, to have it there just for us to like be able to go through it and see it. So like, I never actually saw one, I don't think. I remember, uh, I remember having those, I think it was the, well, we had this magazines called B Gamer. I'm, I'm not sure if that was ever an international thing or not, but those those magazines were always talking like about games and everything, and they always brought a PS1 game. Like usually it would be like a demo disc with several demos for different games that were gonna come out. Sometimes it was just like a full-fledged game, or sometimes it was even for like like PC games. We like those those CDs with two sides, and one side has a, a certain amount of games, and the other side has another certain amount of games. And and so I like I remember that very clearly, and, and we were just talking about a lot of stuff like this. It was a very very nostalgic conversation that I really enjoyed. You know, it, it's kind of, it, it's it's nice to just remember those times. And and I kind of wish that a lot of it could go back to what it used to be in that regard. And, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm really liking how a lot of, like the platforming genre is kind of coming back. You know, Crash was remastered. Now they're making a new game that's coming out in a few weeks. Spyro got remastered and hopefully there's gonna be a new game as well next year, I hope so, please. It would be really cool to see a new Spyro game, like an entire new story following the original trilogy. Please, oh my God, please, I want it to happen so bad. There was like ukulele a couple of years ago, uh, Sonic is still going strong with the platforming genre, and now Super Mario, 64 sunshine and galaxy from the 35th anniversary also came out for the switch so like that's gonna bring a lot more people into the genre so you know like well it's not that it ever died because the genre didn't really die i guess because you know thanks to nintendo and sega you know with like super mario and sonic and everything because if it wasn't for those games i feel like the platforming genre would be pretty dead maybe i don't know it's just like you don't see it around very often. And I, it's really sad because, you know, I love platforming genre, uh, platforming games. I think that's probably my favorite genre when it comes to video games. You know, I, obviously I, I grew up with, with Crash and Spyro and Croc and Gex and uh, Medieval and... I'm not sure if Medieval is considered platforming, but you know, all those games, they were just so good. And then there was like Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't know, it's, it's so, Super Lucky Style new super lucky style i love that game so much like well i only played the demo and i love it this much but like i really want to play it uh, it's like on switch i've just been waiting for it to go on sale it never does but i really want to play new super lucky style for our channel as well because that's such a cool game so much fun and so cheerful and everything i love platforming generous because like gives me this 
amazing vibe, like really nostalgic vibe. And so, yeah, it's just, I'm really glad that like, it's kind of being revived now with all the remasters and new games are coming out. And I hope that it will keep on going like this and keep growing again, because it's such a nice genre. So yeah, Wednesday was really fun, just hanging out with everyone. Unfortunately, it was also my last day of vacations. And today, Thursday, I went back to work. I was kind of shitty. The day did go well and, you know, it was quite fast to go by, like it, it wasn't very boring or anything. I always, I always had stuff to do, and thankfully I didn't encounter any customer that was like kind of an asshole or anything. It, it was overall a nice day. I, I ended it with a new purchase, which you already saw at the beginning of the video. But I got a new plushie, and it's a little dinosaur. We like is blushing, and it's so cute because it's blushing. But he's smiling and he's like this determined looker or something. And then he has like the little teeth, his little fangs just coming out of, of his mouth. It's so adorable. I love him. Oh my God. But I got it. Like I saw it on Tuesday when I was on my way to my friend's house. I went to a mall. I saw this, I saw this dinosaur in there, but I was like, I really wanted to get it. But it's like, this big. This is 42 centi centimeters. I don't know how many inches that is. Because it was big, it wasn't really very convenient to like carry it around uh, for two days away from home. Since that same store that sold it, it's also on, on the same uh, near place I work at. I was like, well, I'll just, I'll just get the local one. And, and so I, I went there after work today and they had it. And I got it. I just couldn't resist because it's so cute. It's so cute. And it's really funny because I was walking at the mall on Tuesday. And then I go over like, I, I, I walk in front past the, the store and I walk in, well, I look inside of it. And I see like this thing, these little cute things like on the table, uh, right at the entrance with other dinosaurs. It was there's like a pink T-Rex and a Triceratops as well. But those weren't as cute. And I just saw this thing. I was like, oh my God, I need that so bad. <laughs> Oh man, and I just couldn't resist. It's just so cute. I just love his little look, but like how he's blushing, how he's blushing, but then he looks like very like, yeah, I'm cool. I love dinosaurs and dragons and I love plushies. Don't ask me how I, ah, you got in my bed next to my other dragons and dinosaurs. Mm. I need to find a place for my plushies though, because they're all like in a little pile on my bed, but then it's kind of like inconvenient. And I used to have them back there. There are some videos, if you want, if you look at the background, it's like, they're right there on a little bean bag I had but I don't have the bean bag in my room anymore. So now like, I'm just, I just, I just keep them on my bed, but I kind of want to find like a cool place for, for him. But yeah, that was today. And tomorrow will be Friday when the video goes up. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to be working. After work, I'm coming home and getting ready for the weekend because I'm going to be off this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm going those two days along with Friday night. We're going Friday night with three friends of mine to one of them as like a sort of a vacation house sort of thing. Um, kind of like the other one that I've talked about in the previous Friday talks. It's, a, it's the same guy, but it's a different house. Uh, so we're just going to spend there the weekend and, you know, it's just gonna be relaxing, chilling, and playing video games. And I'm not sure if I'll take my VR headsets or not. I might take my Oculus Rift maybe, just because it's everything like, it is, it's back there on my wolf head, but I'm probably like, everything is packed and it's boxed. So I might just take it. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun weekend. I uh, do have my friends that are going, I haven't seen forever, literally years. And it's gonna be so nice to see them again. And yeah, it, it'll be fun. You know, it'll be a fun weekend and then we'll see what happens next week. But that's all for me for this Friday Talks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to participate in the comments down below. If there's any highlights about your week that you'd like to share or just talk about anything, just, you know, just leave a comment down below and we can have a chat. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like if you'd like, comment down below anything you want and I will see you next time. Goodbye.